Today we are going to search more of the scripture as we begin to draw to conclusion on how to hear the voice of God. So today I will be treating something very very important. How please lay your hand on that thing below it. How you will begin to pick the voice of God. How you can begin to hear the voice of God. How God will begin to speak to you. Now you remember that when we started, we began to examine uh, different kind of voices. Okay, the first time we, we, we looked at how to train our heart so that we can receive uh, the word of God. Because of the human nature that crept into our life after the fall of man in Genesis chapter 3 it becomes necessary for every believer to train, please is somebody following me to train his or her heart to receive from the law it is necessary for you to train and to walk upon your mind to walk upon your heart so that the word of the Lord you can receive the word and not just receive the word, you can begin to hear him and you can begin to put it in place. You see, this kind of teaching is what grows a man. It was make a man, uh, you know, mature in Christ. So it is not just good enough to quote scripture. Is somebody following me? It is not good to quote scripture. You have to leave scripture out. And what makes you leave scripture out is the voice of God that comes to you. The voice of God that you cannot deny. The voice of God you cannot put aside. The voice of God that is that brings command into your life. So you come to understand that if you will not learn to train your heart, hearing God should be natural, but because sin crept in. Is somebody following me? Hello, are you here? Because sin crept in, is no longer natural. It is what you must perpetually train yourself to hear. Praise God. Please, do you get what I'm talking about? You must train your heart. And your heart, your mind must be trained in such a way that you can pick the voice of God. We began to look at voices. The voice of destruction, the voice of men that you can can help, can make you the circumstances, the situation, economy. Do you remember all those teaching? Please fall back to your note. Listen to that uh, uh, to that uh, uh, recordings again. It's going to help you to overcome some certain thing that will help you. May the Lord give you grace in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord give you grace in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, today. Let's open our Bible to Act of Apostle. Act of Apostle chapter 16. We will read 6 to 10 and we will read responsibly. Act of Apostle, I will read verse 6, you will read verse 7 and we will read together until we come to the last verse. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says, Now, when they had gone through Fiji and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in what? In Asia. Or at verse 7, can you read verse 7 loud and clear? So, passing by Messiah, they came down to Troas. Verse 9. Let's read verse 10 together. I want to go. Now after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to where? To preach the gospel to, to them. Now when you begin to look at verses, you begin to see that there is no sin in human being having a will. Hello? Hello, are you here with me? It is not a sin for a woman being to have a desire. It is not a sin for a woman being to have a, 
a plan. Hello? You must understand that it is important and it is necessary for every believer that God we have must understand how to subject their will and their desire, their plan in alignment with the will and the plan of God for your life. So God does not go against someone that has a desire. Hallelujah. Did I have people here that have a desire? Hello? Did I have people that have a desire? God is not against your desire. Praise God. Did I have people that have plan? Oh, I don't have people that have plan here. God is not against your plan. In fact, if you are here as a believer and you did not plan for your tomorrow, something is wrong somewhere. Because if you study the word of God appropriately, you will understand that Jesus himself taught us how to apply. He said, who among you? Have you read that scripture? We enter a strong man's house without force sitting down and do what? And do a thorough plan. Is somebody following me? What is Jesus teaching? Jesus is saying that it is not just good for you to just live a life that is not of God. You sh a life that is just void and empty. He wants you to have plans. I have plans. Plans for your tomorrow. Plans for your life. Plans for uncertainty. Have a plan. So if you did not have plan, listen to me, you will not go far. He said no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he find he first bind the strong man and then he will plunder his house mark 3 27 so you must understand that god is teaching us jesus saying that there is not a sin to what to plan if you have desire want to build a mansion it is never a what so look at what the Bible says in art that we read. They had it in mind. Verse 6 of that art. They had it in mind to go to somewhere. Now, so the church was strengthened in the faith and increased in number. How many? Daily. Yes, verse 6. The Bible says, now when they had gone through Fiji and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden. So the desire, they had a desire to go somewhere, to go and preach in a particular place. Excuse me, your desire, God did not condemn it. Your desire, God did not, God did not put it aside. Your plan, that great plan, that great future that you are aiming at, that which you have sketched in your heart, the portrait that you put together, that but in the next three years, in the next four years, in the next five years, this is what I'm going to become. You, you look at me, people of God. That architectural design in your art that you are is not bad. Is somebody here with me? He's not what? He's not bad. It's good. It shows that you are human being. He shows that you have plan. He shows that you have focus. He shows that you want to achieve something great. He shows that you are a woman being that have a focus to become successful. Listen to me. God did not condemn it. But there is always a point in your life as you travel, as you journey with God, as you walk with God, as you are yearning to Please him on daily basis. When he comes to interrupt your plan, please submit. Please did I have living souls here? Please did I have living souls here? It's not all the time that he gives approval to every of our plan. Is somebody here with me? He loves our plan. He allows us to make plan. He loves our desire. He allows us to have desire. But it's not every time. He always approves all our desires. So each time he comes to interrupt our desire, our plans. Am I speaking to the living souls here? Yeah? You must align. You must submit. You must refuse to go on and be adamant in your ways of life. Excuse me. There are times in our lives that as we walk with God and as we groan with a great desire, we pick it and we are very close to achieving it and it comes our way and it tells us, my ways are not your ways. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Samuel came one day and he was to anoint a king for the Lord, for, for Israel. And suddenly, the first person that came 
has all the quality of a king that every woman being can look at. Am I communicating with somebody? Yeah? He, he, he has he, he's hefty, he's, or he's elderly, he's the firstborn, he has everything that every woman being can say. But listen to me, that is this desire, that is the will of Samuel to make the firstborn what? The king. But suddenly, there he was about to anoint him and suddenly there was divine interruption. Can I pray for somebody here? There will be divine interruption. No, I, I'm praying for, for, from my heart to you. We are, you are going to make mistakes, errors that will cost you. We are, you are going to take steps that will destroy what you have been building. We are, you are going to make some move that will bring shape and not bringing glory to the name of the Lord. Can I pray for three people that can shout amen here? I pray for you from my heart. There will be divine interruption. There will be divine interruption. There will be divine interruption. Oh, what if uh, Samuel was not sensitive and he has not accustomed himself to hearing the voice of God? You know what will happen if we are not the wrong person? And the moment the oil come upon a man, he's anointed. He's anointed. And they will suffer for another years. We made a serious mistake in this country. A serious mistake. We anoint some, <laughs> we anoint wrong people. And we put them there for another eight years. Because you know, second time you don't have power. I tell you, they are sitting there and they have everything to cancel it. We made mistake. We made mistake. I pray for you from my heart. Mistake you will make that will cost you. I, I, please, can, did I have people that can shout amen here? Yeah? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What Samuel received, Abraham did not receive it. Hello? The divine interruption Samuel received, Abraham, heavens were silent. Everyone did not say anything. When Sarah said, this is my desire, go into my maid. No, there was no voice from heaven. Everything was mute. I wish somebody can pray here. Raise your right hand above your head. And I give you one minute. Whatever you will lay your hand upon and heaven will be mute. Whatever you are going to lay your hand upon and heaven will be silenced. Heaven will be mute. Lord, let there be divine interruption. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rape kaba kote breda bado patasha ekomba pa 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 sa oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god ekrame na 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 shaba whatever 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 oh my god oh my god I I think somebody understand what Abraham there wasn't there was no voice. No voice, nothing, 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 absolutely, until he entered that error, until he entered that error, and that error cost him, cost him, yes, cost us, it's, it's even affecting us now, oh, the seed of the bond woman, the seed of the bond woman was simply without interruption. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can I hear this hand in here, man? The Lord will deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham did not. And it's costing us up till now. The voice of God is powerful. It's what you desire. It's what you should know. But seriously speaking, I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters in the house, God is not against your plan. But each time you take a plan and there is divine interruption, can you align? Can you let go of that your desire and release yourself?
Please, am I communicating with somebody? And that is what we saw in this scripture. Art of apostles. Paul and others, they have a mind to preach good news in Fiji. But on their way, they have an encounter with who? With the law. There was a divine interruption. And the divine interruption came so suddenly and immediately those guys turn around. How do we pick the voice of God? Can we start this teaching tonight? Let's start this teaching tonight. I want God to raise for us men that are not bastard. Men that can hear the voice of their father. He said, they hear my voice, they know it. It is only a bastard that does not know the voice of his father. Wake up. You are not a bastard. You are a child of God. You are a child of who? Of God. And if you are a child of God, you must hear the voice of your father. Then how can I begin to be the voice of God? Listen to me. I have sat with ministers that they cannot pick the voice of God. It's painful. It's painful. I've sat with believers that cannot and prophets and all manner of people are now toasting them here, run, here, here, run, there because they don't know. They are not growing. They don't know. They can't be the voice of God. Excuse me that you quote Bible does not mean you are hearing him. Wake up. How do we then hear the voice of God? The first way of hearing the voice of God is God speaks through his spirit. Glory to Jesus. God speaks through look at verse 6 and 7 of Act of Apostle that we have read. Act of Apostle chapter 16 the Bible said now when they had gone through Vigia and the region of Galatia they were forbidden by what? Please are you following Bible with me? Please I, I thought you said you are ready for this class, uh, for this teaching. Are we ready? So let's let's do the teaching together. Let's let's see that scripture. They were forbidden by what? To preach the word where? In Asia. They were going to Asia, but they were forbidden by the, Look at verse 7. Verse 7 says, after they had come to Mysia, they tried to go into where? Betamia. But the spirit did not Every time God wants to help a man hear his voice, his voice comes by his word, by his faith. And you remember in the previous teaching, I have told you, I have taught you that if you will not build a soily relationship with God, your spirit man will not be activated in such a way that you can pick his voice. Praise God. So picking his voice begins with your relationship with God where your spirit aligns with the spirit because your spirit is a candlelight of who? Of the Lord. That's what Proverbs said. Do you remember that scripture? So it is in the place of relationship, in the place of intimacy, in the place of cordial fellowshipping with the master that your spirit man will begin to align with his spirit so when he speaks he drop that thought it comes sometimes like thought into your spirit man you pick that voice and you knew without any doubt that god has what has spoken to you please are you following me please are you following me that is why you will understand in john i think john chapter 4 probably 24 there about he said god is a spirit do you remember? He said, those that worship him, we do what? We worship him, we are in spirit and in truth. So therefore, when you are worshiping, oh, uh, is somebody here with me? When you are fellowshipping in spirit and in truth, then your spirit become aligned with the spirit. So when God speaks, your spirit receives and he's interpreting it in the language you can hear. Oh God. Help, help my people to understand what I'm teaching. How many of you understand what I've just said? Do you understand that? See, a man that lack fellowship with the Holy Spirit cannot hear, his, cannot hear his spirit. Please, are you following me? If we are begging you to study the Bible, 
We are begging you to pray. We are begging you to do this. We are begging you to do that. We are begging you to do everything. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are not affecting us. <laughs> you are affecting yourself. Because when Baba wants to ignite something in your spirit, hello, are you hearing me at all? When God wants to ignite something in your spirit, it's, it's battered in the place of worship, in the place of fellowship. Please, are you, are you, are you here? So each time you sit down and you worship the Lord, you pray in the Lord, you, you pray to him, you study his word, something happens suddenly. It is a connection of your spirit lifted that changes things to happen in you. And you hear the voice and the voice come to you. Please, all of us, we just become a prophet in the house. And that is what, the, the, that is the desire of God though. I'm telling you, he's not all the only the pastor say, hey, are you hearing what I'm hearing? God, uh, kai, 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 kai. Are you hearing? He say, oh God, we don't hear what you are saying. <laughs> and do you know it is a sweet fellowship that the word of God is coming from, from, the, from the people and hundreds of, peop hundreds of people are confirming it. God just said it. God just said it. God just said it. Because all of us are in line with what? Please, are you following me? So, how did, how did this happen? How, how do we pick the voice of the spirit? It's simply by intimacy. Intimacy. Listen to me. If you keep your quiet time today and you wake up tomorrow, you are rising and falling, you will just be yearning suddenly. Mommy say, boy, call it. You'll be yearning what? Said. So that is why you will see some believer. They are on fire today. Tomorrow. What is God saying? He said, God, we are not sure if he's saying something. No, God is always speaking. Even the silence of God is, means that God is speaking. You just need to grab, you just need to gravitate in the spirit to be able to pick that which he's saying. Because when he's speaking in the spirit, he's saying it takes a man that has worked consistently in the spirit, in intimacy to pick him. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. You must come. He said, fellowship of his suffering. Don't, don't forget that dimension. Fellowship of what? Of his suffering. Do you want God to speak to you? If you want God to speak to you, don't joke with intimacy. Hello? Don't talk with what? You must get closer. You must get closer. You must get closer. You must get closer and closer. Excuse me, sir. Don't say because you are now this, then you don't have time to build a soily relationship with God. Wake up in the middle of the night, sing in tongue, pray in tongue, study in tongue, do everything. You just worship the Lord. Just be there in the spirit. Let people call you fanatics. They don't understand what you are missing. Well, they don't understand what they are missing because you are fanatic. It's better you are fanatic and you are enjoying the heavenly realm. It makes you better. It makes you better. I want to pray for three people here. Please shout amen. Those of you that you are dwindling, you, you rise today, you fall. Your walk with God, your intimacy with God, your fellowship with God is not consistent. Raise your right hand and shout amen. Receive grace. Amen. Grace for consistency. Amen. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking about. Grace for consistency. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me, dear brother. Do you know it's not a sin to sleep off in your quiet time? <laughs> Did you see, they have taught us all manner of things. They say, ah, because you are sleeping off. No. So, because you slept off today, you slept off tomorrow, you slept off next tomorrow, you know the next thing. They say, I will not go there. You, God is missing you. Even as you are snoring there, he's missing. Go there every time. The day you sleep off today, a day is coming that will give you a knock. You will wake up. You won't sleep again. What you do consistently, you become a master there. Please, am I communicating with somebody? Don't because of weakness of today, you run away from the presence of God. Excuse me. Even Cain, his weakness does not take the presence of God from his life. <laughs> with his weaknesses, God placed a mark of his presence that nobody will kill you. How much more you that you are righteous in Christ? How, oh please, am I communicating with somebody here? Don't allow your weakness to take you away from his presence. Because it is in his presence that his fire will melt it. 
when you build intimacy, you don't live in the place of intimacy without a fire drop in your life. The fire will drop to consume weaknesses. Are you getting me? When the fire consumes weaknesses, the fire will not also leave that place empty. It will release another strength there. But each time you run away, oh my God, am I communicating with living souls? Each time you run away from his presence, you are increasing and you are feeding your weaknesses and strength is not there to overcome. Hallelujah. I mean, you understand this thing. See, these are the things we understand that even with our weakness, we still go to his presence. I am weak, oh Lord, oh, I am weak. As I worship and as I pray, he will release his fire to consume it. But he will not leave, me, leave it consumed. He will refill it with another thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? And you see, on daily basis, you will be renewed until you consist. Oh my God. So when the Bible says, we walk until we come to the perfection of his beauty of holiness. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You know what the scripture is teaching? Dear son, scripture is saying that each time you appear in his presence, he kill one weaknesses, release one strength. Another day, he kill another weaknesses, release one until you become mature, perfect in holiness in his presence. So that can take years. That can take a lifetime. So each day you miss his presence. Hello? Each day you miss his presence, you lost strength and you increases weaknesses. I don't know if I'm teaching here. Sunday, I can't teach this thing on Sunday service. Oh. Because look at where I, I am since we have started. I have not started. I have number one, I have not, I'm just doing preamble so that you, that you want to mature in the midweek service will be mature. So when we come on Sunday, all of us on Sunday and we begin to worship the Lord. We begin to worship the Lord and God begin to speak. And you begin to say, well, you, you just tap somebody that, were, that have not learned this. He said, do you hear what God just said? He said, uh-uh. Oh, you said, uh, what? <laughs> okay. yeah. It's all deep. Can't you hear? He cannot hear because he has fed his weaknesses above his strength in the presence of God. The easiest place to kill Mr. Flesh, Mr. Self is in his presence. I will never forget in my life. I will never, never forget in my life. I will wake up in the middle of the night. I just got married. I will wake up in the middle of the night from 2 a.m. I will pray T5, 5 30 C's. Then we go for family devotion, return back to my prayer room. My wife got my wife gave birth. My wife gave birth. I was still doing the prayer. She will wake up in the middle of the night, breastfeed. She will do everything. Wake up to go and she will go to work, do everything. And I was Rumesa, in Kambeke, in Nana. Nana. One day God came to me and said, You are a wicked man. If you come to correct me, I can fight you. I will tell you that you are the one that did not want me to grow with God. But he, the immortal himself, came and he said to me, you are a wicked man. I said, oh Lord. Immediately I prostrated in my prayer room. I said, ah, what have I done? What have I done? Oh Lord, have mercy. Well, the Lord said to me, the Lord said, what you call sin that is visible to people, there are dimensions of sin for you. Your wife is there in the kitchen doing everything and you are here blowing tongue. To who? You are here praying. To who? That day I knew that prayer I have been praying is not accepted. He said, to who? I said, I didn't know. He said, she is not happy. Uh, uh, may you walk with God? I can't hear men that we say amen. Uh, we have women that we say amen. May you walk with God. So, you know, sometimes... What we did not, what culture caused sin, we didn't see it as sin. Because we are not controlled by culture, we are controlled by God. So, so when I learned that thing, I jump up, I will go there, I will go and help put water on fire. Why I will do that? I'm saying, rebellion, break it, break it, break it, break it, and I fear gas. So if I want to hunger us, I will do like this. Rama, mama, ma, samba, laba, shara. <laughs> I, but you know, God saw my heart that I am ready to what? Please, is, am I communicating with somebody? 
I'm ready to wear. Excuse me, if you come and preach like that, I will say you are weak. You want to take Holy Ghost from me. But God came. It is in the presence that he correct your head. It is in his presence. It is in his presence. It is in his presence. It is where? It's in his presence. You are running away too much from his presence. That is why you are not hearing him. When you come to him, in intimacy, he will say some silent thing to you about your homeland, hometown, the compound in your father's house. That nobody ever knew. And you have won. But where are you? So I have perceived every time the Lord will come to the garden and he will shout, Adam, Adam, Adam. And Adam is nowhere to be found. Where are you? Each time he, call, he comes calling, you are sleeping. Each time he comes calling, you are not there. Each time he comes calling, he was carrying a cloak. Do you know what I saw in that scripture? Their weaknesses make them run away from God. Why the same God that has solution in their hand? In his hand. Their solution was in the hand of who? And that is what devil does. When you make mistake, when you sin, he will find a way. Bring that guilty conscience so that you can run away from the one that can cover you. So God himself now said to him, he said, who told you you are naked? Come out. And they came naked. They said, okay, before we can do anything, let's cover you first. So he now went for something and covered them. He has a covering in his hand. Don't run away in his presence. How many of you understand my teaching today? Please, how many of you understand what I'm talking about? I have seen how God fix people in his presence. So, things that we boomerang and we sat in his presence. God. We have no power of our own. This case, we boomerang. Please step in. And one way or the other, Baba step in and turn things around. In his what? How many people want to hear his voice? I, I'm, I'm sure, I want to be sure. How many people want to hear his voice? I beg you by the mercy of God, don't joke with what? Intimacy. Don't joke with intimacy. So, can I continue my teaching? It is a serious thing today. Please, just permit me. We may close nine. Don't worry. Don't worry. God will help you. It's good to heed the word. Oh my God some student invited me for a retreat and I was there, I was teaching for five hours and five hours I said oh, I, have, I want to talk about point one, I have been doing introduction, they said continue sir, I said these are the kind of people that we want so we started the retreat from four, we finished 4 a.m. the following day on campus, they were still nyani to hear. I say, I'm praying God will give me such church members <laughs> that will not be conscious of what to eat. I'm a man so quick. Praise God. So, God speak by what? By His what? Spirit. Please, are you still following me? By his spirit. But if it must be by his spirit, it must be in the place of what? Intimacy. Are, are you following me? Now, three things happen in the place of intimacy. Can I quickly say that? So this is the vehicle in which God speaks in the place of intimacy. Are you ready for this teaching? Ah, you are not answering me again. Three things happen in the place of intimacy so that you can pick the voice of God. The first thing that happens is that the spirit will walk on your conscience. Hello? The spirit, see, hear me. The spirit will walk on your what? Please, are you still here in this show? You are not here again. Are you here? It will walk on your what? Conscience is made renewed in where? In the intimacy, in the place of his presence. Uh, 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 are you following me here? Yeah? 
So one of the way God speaks to every believer is through conscience. So don't ignore conscience. Oh. Hello? Uh, hello? Yes, Especially a renewed conscience is a major vehicle in which the spirit communicates. So when the spirit receives signal, when your spirit receives signal from the Lord, he interprets it through your conscience and you begin to know it. How many of you have conscience? There are, there, are, there are about seven things that can happen to conscience. Are, are you here with me? It's in the scripture. There are about seven things. Your conscience can be seared. Your conscience can be dead. Your conscience can be destroyed. Your conscience, there are seven things that can happen to your conscience. Your conscience can be weak. Are you with me? But see, in the, in, in, when God wants to minister to you via the spirit, you know what it does to you? The first thing it does is that it draws you into his presence. When it gets you into his presence, then he introduces the vehicle. The vehicle of what? Conscience. So sometimes you are praying in the place of prayer and your conscience begins to bring to your memory what you did three days ago that is wrong. It has not happened to you before. Uh, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? When you did it, there was no condemnation. There was no, are you getting what I'm saying? But because you have now gravitated into his presence and you are staying there and the Lord wants to correct you to help you so that the same mistake will not repeat itself. You know, he brought one year things to your memory. Said, you remember this person? This is what you did. This is what you did and it's wrong. And say, hey, Father, forgive me. And I'll say, I have forgiven you. I'm just telling you so that your character is formed. I tell you, you will, be, you will grow with muzzle when you understand this thing I'm teaching you. Nobody will just come and meet you and say, hey, 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 and run like this, and run like this. Regege, regege, regege. You say, sort, sort of. What is regege? No, you know what God be, Why he was doing that gymnastic? The Lord is telling you that uh, he's a fake. F-A-K-E. He's a fake. Four one nine is <laughs> a thing. Uh, you will not go and waste. You will not go and waste milk. A tray of milk. You will not waste it. Con a decree. Every dead conscience receive life. I I'm praying. I'm praying for you. Every dead conscience receive life. Well, you see, when a man is lost. In not hearing the word of God, will you do something that is bad and your conscience did not prick you? Uh -uh. How do you steal and your conscience did not prick you? How do you wash your husband's clothes and you found money and you use it? And your conscience, oh my God, God, let me touch somebody and shout conscience. conscience. Ow! Ow! You have lost the presence of God. Come out, come back home. Ow! Do you need anybody to harass you before you can you can make do with your conscience? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I was invited, a Kuala Poly student, marketing student, they invited me to a youth camp for a VG. And I got there. I've been there. They said I will minister 12. I've been there 11 30. And they were dancing till 3 30. Kuala Poly student. I love them. Did it that. And when it was almost my time, they came to me. They said, Sir, actually, we know we gave you two hours. But please, can you can you help us spend 20 minutes? Because it's almost time. I said, No problem. So as I was entering into the it was my time. As I was entering, I had people, they were talking at the bar. Boom was like be phone law, phone, iPhone, boom was like be phone law. They did not send me that one. 
So my first word, I said, why will you come to the presence of God and you will lack the conscience of the Holy Ghost? Now, it is okay if you lack the conscience of the Holy Ghost. I remember that there are people in the scripture that lack the conscience of the Holy Ghost. They are Ananiah and Savera. And suddenly, there was a man that carried the rod of judgment that can instill by fire, by force. They, I was talking like that. The rod of conscience. So now, I give three hours. If that person did not drop that phone, you will drop dead. But before you, you die, I tell you sincerely speaking, you will run mad for seven hours. <laughs> I have been given two hours, but when I got here, they gave me, they asked me to speak for 25 minutes. So therefore, rise. I'm, I'm about to drop mic now, but I will command the spirit to fish you out, to fish, to release his grace upon everyone here right now. The coordinator said, no, no, continue, sir. Continue, sir. <laughs> Continue, sir. In five minutes, I just hear a shout at the bar. Hey, we don't see for no, no one won't run mad. <laughs> they saw the phone on the ground. <laughs> Conscience. Conscience in the church is fast disappearing. As you can imagine somebody come to the church and all what he's looking for is to see a lady. Conscience. Somebody come into the church and all what he's looking for is to see a brother. Conscience. So it is not their fault. It is because they have been, they have vacated the presence of what? Of God. So the first thing God does, please, is somebody see here with me. The first thing God does in his presence is to instill in you a renewed what? Don't forget every woman being has conscience. Do you understand me? But there is a dimension of conscience that we call a renewed conscience. So when you are when you are battered in Christ, when you gave your life to Jesus Christ and you are born again, the first thing in his presence God wants to do is to draw you into his presence. When he draws you into his presence, he wants to walk, renew your conscience as a vehicle of communication. Oh, do you understand me? As a vehicle of what? Communication. So, when he now walked on your conscience and you begin to pick is just the beginning you know what the second thing he does as a vehicle is now to use his word both the rema word and the letter word is somebody following me so when you see a christian that says ah, god is not speaking to me has that person are you reading the word of god you see I'm looking for hard copy. Hard copy Bible. <laughs> My church is a digital church. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. <laughs> now, hello. Look at everybody. Please look at me. This is hard copy Bible. If you have it and it is only Sunday, Sunday medicine that you bring it to church, it's useless. It's just an, a paper. Is somebody get what I'm saying? What makes this Bible matter and become God's voice in your life is when you open it and you do what? You read it daily. How? Eh, download. Eh, download. How? Daily. Please help me talk somebody daily. You read it daily. You read Genesis 1, chapter 1. The following day, chapter 2. Or you read Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 5. The following day, 6 to 10. You read daily. Hello? This is what makes the word of God speak to you. And if it is in this thing, add what? In soft what? Soft copy. You read it. Just don't be carrying tab about without studying. You are using tab to do nonsense. You carry for you carry for you see. I, I sometimes I look at people in the service. They say they are using, they say they are jotting with uh, they say they are jotting with phone. Is it left? I don't trust them. Few of them are really jotting. Ask them, you are jotting with phone. Do you put your something in flight mode? So the, you are jotting with phone, 
Messages come inside me. You sorry, attend to you. You say you are, you are, you are, you have left the presence of God since. And it is lack of what? I'm telling you, it's lack of conscience that the word of God is going on. Even if you are not gaining anything, you respect God by not pressing phone, chatting. He said, they can give me, they can call me from work. They can call me from work. Who gave you work? If you take that work away from you, who will call you? Oh no, God now. It is, well, don't, the word of God is the second vehicle in which God works. So, I, I was in University of Learning. I was staying in Okyodo. And I was staying with, with uh, I rented an apartment. And uh, I was there. And uh, every morning, one, two, three, four, five, six, Kalista here, uh, Kalista here, Ajia here, uh, Ranti here. I want to make a couple slides for me. <laughs> so that's that's about six rooms. Are you getting what I'm saying? With my own room, pastor's room. They call me pastor. Eh? Making six rooms. Please, is somebody following me? Now I am the one that my window is closer to the veranda. And you know these uh, animals, these goats, sheep, and all these things, they will come and overnight. Especially when rain is falling, they will mess up that place. And the lady beside me, are you getting what I'm saying? She always do air. Plate air for people to collect money. In my veranda, in the veranda that is there, this thing. So early in the morning, she will come and check if this thing, uh, the mayor and those. <laughs> The animals have messed up that place. She will get back inside. They have called is a customer. Come later. They are waiting for me. And I one funny thing is that I am the only me. Every other one, they are female. Rascal female. The second thing is that the, the, hello, the second thing is that say my boy, Agbara movie kawe. Ben mo da wa kinto was kuda da. So. I suffer. But it's not too late if you go down. Just make sure you finish. There was no open university there. So I will carry this broom. I will do. So one day I was I was furious. I said to myself. Let heaven come down. Let angels be swimming like this. I will leave this thing like that. So I left it. 10 o'clock. They will come out. They will enter. They will come and check. Ah, bro, big I was studying Bible. And I was happy in my spirit. You know that kind of, you are not there. I was happy in my spirit. So as I was studying, as I was studying, the Lord came to me. And the Lord gave me a scripture. It's not what I was studying. He who knows how to do good and did not do it to him is a what? You know, immediately that scripture came, my peace disappeared. I knew what God was saying. God was saying, rise up and go and do what? Do, how many of you have been in that thing before? I'm telling you, God was saying, rise up and go and sweep. Ah, I struggled. I said, no, 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 Lord, no, Lord, no, Lord, no, Lord. Everything I was reading. How many of you have been, you have you have understand what I'm talking about? You know everything. I did everything, no, but that word keep coming. He who knows how to do good and did not do it to him. So because I want to get my peace, I carry broom. I began to say, "I surrender." And I swear, you know the funny thing that is most annoying. As I was sweeping, they came and they say, "Ah, bro, big ATG." I want my paper again. Is that kind of ATG? Come on, let's move ballet. They turn back inside, and I finish everything. When I finish everything, she came out, called his a customer, and started working. And I enter 
the room again. The joy returned, but there is a pain inside of me. A pain of... <laughs> but I thank God I overcame. You know what? God ministered to me not by audible voice. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? God ministered to me by what? By his word that I have been reading. Hello? So you buy by what I have been reading. You see, God will only bring what you have been reading to your remembrance. You are not reading Bible. You are on phone from morning to evening. Laptop, morning to evening. Now you jump to blacklist. You are watching film. Who that thing expire alone a year? If you did not give attention, the Bible says, pay attention to reading. Do you remember that scripture? Shall I give me that scripture? Pay attention to reading, to exhortation. Because this is what built. Do you, do you understand me? This is what, what? Built. If you are not reading, you may think you are not gaining. The day you will need it, you will know. The day you will need it, you will know. He said of you that you will, you will come face to face to danger and you say Jesus, 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 it is the word that we prove. He suffer none of their bones to be broken. You have, you, if you have quoted that scripture before, you say, say, for me, yes, I have done. How many, what do, do you devote your time to reading, reading what? The Bible, the word of God. He said, till I come, give attention to what? Reading, to what? Exhortation. To what? To doctrine. Verse 14. Please give me that verse 14. The Bible says in verse 14. Do not neglect the gift that is in you which was given to you by what? With the laying on of the hands of eldership. Pay attention to reading the word of God. I know many of you started January. We will read Bible through but you are dead now. Excuse me. Leave those one you have missed. Jump to where you are now. Uh, do you hear what I said? You are not answering me again. I know now you have started. You said this year. Now this year. We will read through the Bible. And you are following a pattern. But now. As at now you know. <laughs> you are dead. In fact. It's not the first time you are dead. When you enter Leviticus. You are you there. You die. <laughs> so you jump Leviticus. You start Joshua. Joshua 1, after verse 8, you will obtain good sources. You die. <laughs> now, can I speak to you? Oh, you are not answering me. Can I speak to you? Jump all the one you have missed. Start again from where we are. Is somebody here with me? Start again. You can wake up. May God give you understanding. So, God speaks through his word. His word. So, I tell people that especially the young ones the 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 youth that come <laughs> that comes to <laughs> one of my daughter came to me and said to me that sir i have seen a brother and he has proposed to me and i have said yes i said what is your conviction he said ah everything i want in a man he has i said no problem i said no problem a time will come that what you think you see in a man that he has can disappear because man, men are vapor. They appear in the morning. <laughs> Is that not what Jesus said? Uh, may God give you understanding. And marriage is a miracle worker. All those of you that you are lost in love, I mean, blind with love, marriage will open it. He is a miracle worker. And at that time, no reverse gear. Forever. Oh Lord. Thy word is said to wear. May God give you grace. Study what? The word of God. God speaks through his word. Now, I have talked about the letter word. How God uses the letter word to speak to you. Is somebody here with me? God speaks by the spirit. Via the vehicle of conscience. Via the Bible of the word, under the word, the letter. Uh, is somebody following me? Now, 
the spirit by inspiration. The spirit by what? By inspiration. And I, I, I don't have time to talk about that today, but I would like to just say one or two things so that we can pray earnestly. We can pray earnestly. Your eyes will be open. Amen. Glory to Jesus. I said your eyes will be open Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, apart from the letter, there is the second dimension in which the word of God, God can speak to you via his word that will completely contradict. Hello? Hello? The interpretation that you think is the, is the interpretation. Because God will begin to use that word at that moment to answer a question in a different way. Please, is somebody hearing me? Please, are you following me? It comes by inspiration that we sort you out at that time. For example, I just told you of a story of somebody that was preparing for exam and while he was praying, he just shouted and, and he raised his voice and said, I caught it! And everybody's asking, what do you call? He said, the word. I said, what is the word? He said, the memory of the righteous is blessed. What is the hermeneutic interpretation of that scripture? Do you understand what I'm saying? It is simply the memory of the dead. But that was the word the lady caught. And that word brought success to your heart. If you use it without Rema, you will fail. Long with your failure, your, your F. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Hello, do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, let me cite an example. One of my friends, when we were in University of London, he studied plant biology. I studied zoology and uh, shola. And uh, he wa we were praying together that what is your purpose? What did God want you to have you do with your business of graphics and what you have done? And while we were praying, suddenly he just shouted. He said, I caught it. I said, what did you call? Do you remember in Luke where the, uh, Jesus was frying fish? Oh. Hello? Are you here with me? Are you still here with me? Yes, Where Jesus was frying fish. Eh? That was what he called. And he said, God wants me to be smoking fish and selling it. He uses that to build his own, the first house. And doors opened for him. He was beginning to transport it. Now, the lemma of that it is beyond letter. Hey, get me. It was that rema that came to him that he discovered what to be doing at that time. Now, what did I discover? I discovered that when you begin to hear the voice of God and the rema, the inspira inspiration dimension of God's work come to you, is capable of creating. It's a creative power of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is a what? Is a creative power of God. So he said, let there be light. Where there was no light, the Bible said, and there was light. The reason being that the voice of God came to a man and he created things that were not. I was in Lagos praying. I mean, for a revival. And I was praying for a woman without womb. I was praying for a woman without womb. And at a time while we were praying together, suddenly, I just hear the voice and God said, let there be light and there was light. And I was repeating it severally until the woman fell under the anointing. The pastor was also with me. And suddenly, we pray because we have to pause. We don't know what actually happened because uh, there was light. We are not doing deliverance. But the power of God came and it her. And suddenly, we left her. And six months later, the pastor just called me. That's sir, there was there is a miracle that just happened. I said, well, he said, she went to the hospital and she was confirmed positive. He said, Wow. The pastor was also asking me how I said the Lord said, Let there be light. And there was light. 
the light God was talking about then was a creative womb. She gave out to. They still tested. There was no womb. <laughs> you don't know God. You are joking with God. If you talk with God, you will end your life in like a like a Methuselah. Please, am I communicating with somebody here? Now, at that point, dilemma. Wait, please, I'm teaching you scripture. I'm teaching you life. What everybody has assumed that nothing can happen. Can I speak to somebody here? When the word, the rema word of God comes, there will be way. There will be way. I, I'm just praying for somebody here under the sound of my voice. Your heart for God will grow more. Your heart for God will grow more. And you will know him more. That nothing will scare you. Nothing. I have seen miracles. I have seen things happen. I was running a crusade in, in, in Niger State. And these people that were receiving dangerous miracles, they are Egyptians. You know, for you, we have to explain for you because your heart is critical. You think you know all. They, they have a tabula rasa. All what they want is God heal me. Even they are not ready to, but that day they will call Jesus, oh man, Dapidi, Sanu. If you will want to call your Jesus, Jesus, oh man, Dapidi, Sanu. You are doing as if nothing is pursuing you. And God also came and said, You are not ready. Let's go for those that are ready. Ah, I have seen. See, the Rema word is powerful. Hello, the Rema word is powerful. I'm telling you, God will begin to open your ears to hear them words. I think somebody understands what I'm talking about here. I, I, I was in 300 level University of Illinois. Nobody's sponsoring me. Nobody's helping me. Nobody. Nobody. Nothing, nothing. Nobody. I have to work. But this time around, I have to go for IT. I couldn't work. I needed to pay school fees. The school fees wanted to close. I prayed to cancel the closing. They shifted it one, shifted it two, shifted it three. So I began to shift it. God said, they will close this one. <laughs> so, why I was praying confused, what is the next thing for me to do? Please, is somebody here with me? And suddenly, I remember, that, and a word of the Lord came, the chariot of fire. Eh? The chariot of fire eh? and I began to pray let mm -mm, it's not child of it's raving a year who raving that brought food for who for Elijah ah, so that scripture came live so I began to pray you know when you get light you pray where uh, when you get light you pray where so I began to pray Ranuma Sabe Katasa Oluwa Ranshewa because Oluwa saw me go on a year, who base a for Elijah, Elijah, and Oluwa Nanshewa, Oluwa Nanshewa. Five minutes after I left the place of prayer, one brother that never remember me that I exist called me. He said, Ah, DJ, where are you now? I said, I'm in school. DJ, which school is at University of London? Oh, ah, so you have been in London all alone in University of London. Okay, let me send something to you. Exactly the amount. So when I hear, when I see, a lot of exactly the amount I came, I, I continue. I went back to the place where I think the thing has never finished. Oluwa, Oluwa. When you are praying, you you come and bury me. Eh, sorry, you mean party word? Oluwa, Nansewa, Oluwa, Nansewa. I pray for another one hour. I left. Five mom, five minutes after, another person called me and said, Ah, how far now? I just thought of you to give you something, and he transferred money. I went back. Oluwa, Oluwa, and seven times I received money. Eh? Well, after that, I cry. Oluwa, Nansewa, Nansewa. <laughs> Praise God. Please, is somebody here with me? So I remember that when the people of God were filled in eating manna, the manna ceased. I decree your ears will be open. You want to pray? Oh, you will pray. <laughs> I think I should stop. I should stop there today. I will go for the other dimension next week. The other dimension, the second way. See, God speaks. Oh, uh, uh, is somebody here with me? 
It's only some people that doesn't hear the voice of God that say, you know, they speak. He they speak, oh. And when he speak, he speak life. Uh, uh, is somebody here? Yeah? When God speaks, he speaks solution. When God speaks, he speaks direction. When God speaks, he opens you up into a dimension that you have never experienced. How many people are willing to join me to travel so that the Lord will open our eyes, our ear, our heart, our conscience to be able to join? Please raise your two hands above your ear. If you can raise your voice, can you please pray right now? Lord, give life. I receive life in my spirit. I can pick. I can pick. I can pick your voice. Oh. Open my ears, open my eyes. Oh, we are a man and woman that can pray here. You just have one more minute. You can hear, you can hear, you can hear, you can hear his voice. Mommy, you can hear, daddy, you can hear. The voice of God is powerful. Can you raise your voice? The way you are praying, it shows that you are not thirsty. You want to hear the voice of the Lord. Lord. Open my eyes, open my ear. The creative power of your word. In the name of the Lord, you are not too smart. You are not too smart to hear. You are not too old to hear. Can you cry to the Lord? Can you cry to the Lord? I receive. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, don't wait till when you have dream alone. God can speak. He's a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Whatever is hindering you from hearing from sin, take it away. Take it away. Whatever is hindering me from hearing your voice, brother, pray, sister, pray. You have one more minute to pray. Take it away. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Yerama ba 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 sumba la ba ra ba katamba la ba. Jesus, mofedo, olorumio, mofedo. Emi mi mani mofe. Oh, olorun ala gala. Don't be a spectator here. Don't be a spectator here. God can help. Emi mi mani mo fa. That I may hear you. Oh, my father. Arakole, she shall be oh, look, Bala, let me walk, they want me oh, they want me oh, they, oh, my God, oh, my God. We are a man and woman that want to join me. To enter into a new dimension of childhood that when God sneezes, we hear. When God speaks, we hear. I have eyes to see. I have ears to hear. I have eyes to see. I have ears to. Oh my God. 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 I have trained my heart. I have trained my mind. I will hear the voice of the Lord. Direction is coming. Yes, yes, yes. I love the way you are praying, madam. God bless you. There will be divine visitation. Divine interruption.
Emi bi mo lo le taye mi se. Ah, how many of you are yani? You are yani, you are yani to receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost will come upon you. Mo fe ga. Emi bi mo. Ay 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 ay. Emi bi mo lo le. Rami lo wo. Emi bi mo lo le. Taye mi she. Oh, somebody raise your two hands and pray. Raise your two hands and pray. No secret of the enemy will be hidden again in your life. Open your mouth and fire. No secret of the enemy. The Lord will reveal them. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. No secret of the enemy. Ah! I can see. I can see. I can see. Hey, I can hear. I can hear. Oh, there is an impartation happening here. Hey, I can see. I can see. Oh, I can see. I can hear. I can hear. I can hear. Until I can see, until I can see, but we are transformed into His image. Ah, until I can hear, until I can eat, until I can eat, we are transformed. We are transformed. We are trans. Until I can hear, until I can see, until I. Oh, somebody will receive a visitation tonight. Oh, until I can. God is already saying something to your heart. Until I can. E na ma mi na ni na ma sebe. E kaba yada. E kabele ne malia. E rama kope kaba. E na ma kadroma tobelia. Eh, until I can. Ah, until I can. Eh, until I can. Eh, until I can. Eh, ah. A new heart, a new heart. God is giving you, God is giving you a new conscience, a renewed conscience, a renewed conscience, a renewed. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, in a man de bedin de belin kabas zaprada bata belina kabaku kabasema. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your two hands to heaven. Oh, you will hear him. You will hear a voice behind you telling you this is the way. I command your divine help to begin to hear his voice. A brand new ear of the Spirit. A brand new eyes of the Spirit. A brand new art of the spirit. Who is that person receiving it? Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. And I hear a word in my spirit. Elijah is a man like like passion. So I decree over everyone here. Every deafness in your spiritual walk with God. Every dullness in your spiritual walk with God. Every blindness in your spiritual walk with God. Disappear now. You are here. You are here. You are here. You can see. You can see. You can see. Hey, you can hear. You can hear. You can hear. Oh, you can conceive in your heart. You can conceive in your heart. You can conceive in your heart. The word of God will come expressly to you. The word of God will come expressly to you in the name of Jesus.